All right, now is the time to make your voices heard. From now through Friday, you've got a few days, the community is being asked to fill out an online survey about what you want Moline's riverfront to look like. You don't even have to live in Moline to fill this survey out. I mean, I filled it out and I live over in Davenport. This survey is made possible through the city and Renew Moline, and by answering, you have a chance to win some prizes. Here to chat about this is Brett Weidel, landscape architect with MKSK, the national firm partnered with Moline on this project. Brett, thank you for being here with us today. Thank you so much. Okay, let's start with why this survey is taking place, because of course, when the old I-74 bridge was taken down, it opened up a whole bunch of space along the riverfront that Moline wants to develop. So talk to me about why it's so important to get community feedback on this project. Yeah, absolutely. We're really looking for the community to engage in this process to share with us what they envision for the future of downtown and the riverfront. Um, we're really wanting to create a plan um, that provides a vibrant downtown experience, investing in the public realm, connecting assets within the community, activating the river, and really defining a new fresh district um, that can just add to all the great things happening in the city today. You know, whenever I think of this project, I think about the way early uh, meetings that we were having about this two years ago, talking about that zip line from the Kone Tower. It's like yeah. right at the front of my brain. <laughs> all right, so you have all been out and about already trying to get community feedback. You had a fall fest earlier this year. You've been at Dead Poets Espresso, Mercado, the farmer's market. I mean, what are you already hearing from residents? Yeah, the Fall Fest was a huge success. We had all sorts of folks coming out, dressed in costumes, sharing their uh, great ideas and input for the riverfront and downtown. So far, we've seen over 500 survey responses online. Um, and we asked people, you know, what makes Moline great and uh, what is unique about it? Uh, people are telling us their input on what they want to see in the future of downtown. We're hearing they want to play and explore. They want to eat and drink and they really want to enjoy art performance and events downtown. So really looking at ways that we can start to incorporate those into the master plan vision. You know, when people hear survey, it can be hard. We're all busy to take time out of your day. But really, how long does it take to fill this thing out? Oh, it's really short. I would say maybe one to three minutes, depending how fast you take surveys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then finally, what can people win if they take part in this survey? Yeah, absolutely. We're excited to be giving away some gift cards to some local favorites, Lago Marcinos and Dead Poets Espresso. So yeah, please fill out that survey between now and the end of the week, and you could be entered to win a gift card. Okay, Brett, I know you visited a couple times. Have you had Lago Marcinos? since you've been here? Yes, it is such a special place and I've really enjoyed getting to know some of the people that work there, the owners as well. Um, it just seems like such a beloved institution and so we're so excited to get to know everyone in Moline. Oh yeah, great people. Brett, thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining us today, seriously. Thank you so much. Once again, guys, the Moline Riverfront and Center Plan needs your feedback. This community survey is trying to reimagine downtown Moline, so you can give your thoughts now through Friday. This is available in both English and Spanish, and all respondents will be entered into a raffle to win one of 10 gift cards to Lago Marcinos or Dead Poets Espresso. In fact, to find this survey couldn't be easier. You can head over to our website, wqad.com, and click on the As Seen on TV tab.